So what I did was on uh, Morgan is I used um, a product of mine called Build It Blow Drying Spray to blow her hair out with. And then after that Build It Blow Drying Spray, I used a medium sized round brush. I myself am a fan of a dual bristle brush. I'm really not a fan of um, a metal brush. I feel like metal brushes, in my opinion, destroy the hair a little bit. So I tend to like more of a dual bristle, dual bristle meaning nylon and combination of bore. Jason, actually at my salon, colored Morgan's hair with Enoa, which is from L'Oreal professional. It's the first ammonia professional product on the market that doesn't contain any kind of ammonia. It's they say that after eight or nine uses, it turns into, it feels almost like virgin hair again. Yeah, it's really quite remarkable. And it's by L'Oreal. And then after I blue dry her, I used my beautiful hold hairspray. You head back here. You can sit back. Relax. There you go. Gorgeous. I'm spray a little bit more before I brush. So the kind of brush that I use, well, I use two different brushes. I use um, a Mason Pearson brush, and I also use another brush um, by a company called Delorme out of France. And the reason why is because it has a nice bristle, bore bristle, but the bristles aren't, they're kind of medium placed, so they're placed in a place where they, it runs through their hair really nice. Sorry, Delorme, um, you can buy in Paris, or you can order online at Delorme.com. Or the Mason Pearson is pretty universal brush. And the reason why I like the Mason Pearson, this one's the Popular, and the Popular has that dual combination of bristle that I love. Um, I also use a medium-sized tong, curling iron, to create these waves in her hair. Um, I would say that I am a classic hairdresser with a twist. I really like women to um, look beautiful and sexy. You know, um, does everyone remember Angelina in the um, leather dress? <laughs> and I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you the truth. Yes. So. I really like for women to be sexy and I like for them to um, feel good when they leave the apartment, our salon, our the hotel suite. It's after blow drying and then after um, doing my blow dry, I took a section in the front first. So I made every, I did a horizontal section from the crown all the way to the front hairline, and horizontally, about two inch sections all the way around. And as each section, so this first section, everything went this way, pin curl stack, absolutely. This next section, everything went, went the other way. The next section, everything went this way. The next section, everything went the other way, back and forth. So that's what creates that S pattern that you're looking for. What I'm doing now is I'm doing just a little bit of back combing. What, what's an essential about when people backcomb is because if you're a backcomber and you do this, you're never, ever, ever going to get that hair to have a base. And what the intention of backcombing is is for a base. It's not necessarily to make it so it stands up from here to here because we're not really doing that. Unless, unless you're doing a kind of a 60s vibe, everything you just want is a cushion at the scalp. So when I'm talking about a cushion, tail comb is the best, right? section, and I do everything in a circle. All I want is just a little bit of cushion. You notice I'm not calling it teasing. Nah, nah, nah. I'm calling it back coming. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Marcel. It's hard to see, I know. But what I do with the Marcel is I take the iron the opposite direction of the way that I use it if I'm going to curl it, right? With the lip down, and then I slide it into the hair, and then I use a comb and slide it back. And rotate. Back a little bit. 
Sorry, guys. Here, right? Um, it is Carter Marcel Wave, yeah? This is what I do for the Oscars or for the Golden Globes during award season. I alternate the direction so you get that. She can go. Do a little walk on the end. 